is my tent. Today's date, <clears throat> excuse me, is January 29th, 2015. What I'm gonna do right now is pull the tarp door in front of it. Okay. Why I'm making this video in a second if you're not a if you're not a regular viewer pertaining to my YouTube channels and my situation. I'm a target victim and activist concerning the crimes of gang stalking. You can go to Google and type in gang stalking creating homelessness to targets and then go to Google and, and review the blogs that come up. So you can see that creating homelessness of targets is one of the main objectives that they do to targets in reference to the organized stalking perpetrators who are hosting, managing, and uh, obviously expediting the criminal expedition against the target. 98% of the time, complete strangers to the target. Now, you can also go to Google and type in UCSD and Law Library. Are they networking gang stalking? And the perpetrators have hacked into that blog account. Now, I made a video, in fact I've made about three videos in the last week and a half that have not been uploaded yet, okay, and that's so that's, that, that is in part one of the reasons why I continue to take these video pictures on my tent to prove that it's here, because since those videos aren't, up, aren't uploaded yet, if an event occurs towards me here and or out and about in the community, and I get arrested through organized stalking, gang stalking, syndicated police officers, and or police officers who are taking orders from the syndicate that's in the system that is managing these expeditions, they can steal or delete any video file that I've made that I have not uploaded yet. These video files prove this tent is here. This this location goes by RR Colony 5. Now those video files that I made in, in those video files, which are basically similar to this video file in reference to its theme, and composition states that this video, each one of those video files uh, state as well that these video files apply for the next like two weeks, three weeks pertaining to this location and to the theme of the subject matters. But since they haven't been uploaded yet, I still have to make these video files just as a backup. Now, if I come back to this area today, this area goes by, it's got a code name, code abbreviation attached to it. I, I developed that for legal and strategic purposes. The code uh, notation is RR Colony 5. Now, I am preparing to move from here. I should be completely moved by no later than Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday. Today's date is January 29, 2015, Friday. We're going to see if, I, if any incidents happen towards me here at this area before I can move. Okay? Understand. Organized stalking, gang stalking perpetrators will stage events. And when they stage events, they will also stage the witnesses if they feel it's necessary. Okay? Uh, at a targeted individual's hiking location and or along their routes. Now, the entrance to this location where the area is at, pertaining to the area where this tent is at, has two bicycles locked up. Okay? And the reason why I have two is because I got in a major bike accident on the 25th. Okay? Just this last, uh, uh, I think it was Sunday. Alright? And as a result, the bike just almost got, well, both bike tires went flat. The brakes weren't working right, so I bought a new bike. But I kept the one that wasn't working right in order for me to fix it up at a later date to use it as a backup. Both of those bicycles are parked at the entrance, which is also the exit of the, this immediate location. So, we're going to try and see if on any date, they bait me to approach anybody that approaches that entrance and physically acts out uh, that they're uh, looking at the bike to possibly steal it or using that as an excuse to say these bikes are here so somebody must be here and then they come down up in here and, and, and then act like they stumbled across me and then the police are called or and or it's done for psychological uh, to anchor psychological fear that the police will be called okay putting a target individual in a paranoid mindset is a method of gang stalking google it they're terror schemes, in part, and this is done in order to assist in, but not limited to, breaking the target down mentally, physiologically, emotionally, 
and all the other techniques assist in breaking the target down financially and spiritually. So, what I do is predict what these little filthy, wild, right-ass whores are going to do before they do it, and they will fucking use anybody. Excuse my language. They will use children, teenagers, neighbors, landscape workers, uh, RP employees, volunteers for RP. Uh, they will use anybody and everybody that they can in order to achieve their objective in reference to, but not limited to, in reference to staging an event. So the police that arrive on the scene will have a plausible deniability excuse pertaining to why they are in the target's physical presence. And then that will uh, produce either an arrest and or a legal lodging ticket. Camping. These are the schemes of gang stalking. So you can go to Google, just type that blog's title in. And you can also go to YouTube and type in Learning Disabled Woman Exposes Methods and Tactics of Gang Stalking. And then go to YouTube and type in Learning Disabled Woman Exposes the Criminal Motivations of Gang Stalking. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. I do not do drugs. I do not drink. I do not sleep around. I do not steal. And I am not aware at all in any capacity the individuals who are managing and perpetrating these criminal realities towards me in reference to who they are by their names. But I can identify the places that I've been gang stalked at and the police officers who have refused my right to make a police report on anywhere between 19 and 26 separate occasions to police officers per occasion. So, all you have to do also is go to YouTube and type in gang stalking billing on steroids. This video applies for the next two weeks because once I move from here, I'll be on the same property. So that new uh, camping location will be called RR Colony 5-1. This is regular RR Colony 5. I'm in San Diego, California, and my name is Leslie Williams. Cyber surveillance is a methodology of gang stalking, so they are completely aware that I'm exposing them online. So they will, esca what, they will escalate their campaign towards me, including but not limited to, they are definitely targeting my finances right now through Social Security. Absolutely. So go to Google and type in social services and gang stalking, social security and gang stalking, police officers and gang stalking, lawyers and gang stalking, doctors and gang stalking, um, you name it. Alright, I gotta go. This video applies for every single day, night, and minute that I am at this specific location. Okay? And it doesn't matter how the event unfolds. It doesn't matter how they act because these little filthy red ass whores, the ones who are perpetrating these criminal realities and propping people up to assist them in the gang stalking, whether they know that what they're doing is gang stalking or not, they are told how to act because the manager and or managers of this expedition that are perpetrating it and who are using these people, okay, they know I wear a tape recorder running on me at all times and they are also completely aware that I have a video camera. They are also using homeless people, especially men okay to uh, bring about toward uh, bring about towards me and or my property staged events approaching my bicycle at the entrance which is also the exit of this immediate location would be the would be a possible street theater staged event that they would employ in order to bait me to approach them in order to preserve the bike they can then either stage an assault or any other type of uh, uh, physical theatric in order to make it appear that either them and or me or a third party has a normal apparent reason to call the cops. They then say, well, what the fuck are these bikes doing here anyways? Who are they? Whose are they? Well, they're mine. Yeah, but why are two here and why are they locked up? And then they start to scope the area and say, oh, look, what's this? What are you doing? Living here? You're arrested. These are the schemes of gang stalking literally okay all right i'm in san diego california again today's date is january 29th 2015 friday my name is Leslie williams human trafficking is directly connected to gang stalking as well as racketeering insurance fraud identity theft land co-opting pro property co-opting mortgage co-opting uh you name it trustful liquidation pornography voyeurism even snuff films these are wild animal whores the worst of the literal worst who are perpetrating these criminal realities using their employment descriptions to do so and some of those employment descriptions I have described in this video I do appreciate listening this video applies for every single second minute hour and day each day okay that I am still at this area and at the one I plan on moving to which I'm I, I'm, I'm three steps away from doing it now so okay Thank you for listening, and please say a prayer for my safety. Have a nice day.